Lisa here from Cool Kids Hub. So one of the things a lot of parents want to know is how much sleep does my baby actually need? So what I wanted to share with you today is how much sleep your baby needs by week and month, right from newborn up to 12 months old. And what does those awake windows look like for each of those? So I'm going to share a screen because it's easier for you to follow along on the screen um, than it is for me to just be talking and you trying to figure out um, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to flick over and you can follow on the screen. So if you look at birth to eight weeks, here your baby's number of naps really varies. They'll be very haphazard. They could be anything from four right up to six naps in a day. Their nap duration can be anything from 20 minutes right up to three hours. They'll typically sleep seven to nine hours in the day and eight to nine hours at night, not in a continuous stretch, obviously. And they'll sleep for a continuous stretch of around two to three, maybe four hours. And they need a total sleep of between 15 and 17 hours. Now, as your baby gets to that two month mark, they will start to get into more of a routine. So you'll generally find they start um, napping between three and five naps a day. They'll sleep for still short naps are very common. So they can have a nap of 30 minutes right up to three hours. Daytime sleep, seven to nine hours. Nighttime sleep, eight to nine. And you might start to see those single stretches go a little bit longer of four to six hours with 14 to 16 hours of total sleep. At the three month mark, babies might drop that one nap. So they'll nap now three to four naps. They will again still be sleeping some short naps, 30 minutes up to two hours. They'll sleep anywhere between four and eight hours of daytime sleep. The reason that can vary so much is it will depend on what time you put your baby down to sleep because typically up until this point, babies will go to sleep somewhere between 9 and 10 p.m. But as they start to um, near that three month mark, you should be trying to move that bedtime forward. You ideally want your baby to be going to bed somewhere between 6.30 and 7.30. So if your baby's currently at that 9 or 10 p.m., start to move their bedtime forward in increments of 15 minutes. So if they go to bed now at nine, move it forward to quarter to nine, wait a couple of nights, move it forward to 8.30, etc., until you get to that bedtime that is suitable for you and your family. Nighttime sleep will be eight to 10 hours, and you'll now sometimes start to see them sleeping for six hours straight with 14 to 16 hours of total sleep. At the four month mark, um, naps will generally be three to four naps, but naps do start to consolidate. And this is because the baby's sleep cycle um, is now starting to mature. And their sleep cycle is going from that short sleep cycle that you've probably been experiencing up until now, where they might only sleep sometimes for 30, 40 minutes because their sleep cycle is 40 to 50 minutes a baby. But around the four month mark, their sleep cycle starts to mature to that of an adult sleep cycle, which is 90 to 100 minutes. This is when a lot of parents talk about four month sleep regression. It's because as this um, maturing of the sleep cycle happens, it can disrupt baby sleep for a couple of weeks. But you will now start to see their sleep consolidate. So one to two hour naps. Daytime, hours sleep three to four, nighttime, nine to 10. Now they'll sometimes start to sleep between six and eight hours and they need 12 to 16 hours in total. At the five month mark, five to six months, they'll start to have two to three naps, still one to two hours in duration. Daytime sleep starts to be around three to four hours in total with nighttime sleep of around 10 to 11 hours. And some babies now will start to sleep 10 to 11 hours in a stretch, sometimes. So you might find that your baby sleeps one night in a, complete, in a stretch, good stretch of 9, or 10, 9, 10, 11 hours, and then another night only sleeps for six. So it can still be erratic, but you will start to see um, some consolidation and some regularity to their sleep.
and they have a total sleep of 12 to 16 hours. At the 7 to 8 month mark, Gemini babies will only nap now twice. Nap duration will be 1 to 2 hours. Daytime sleep 3 to 4 hours. Nighttime sleep 10 to 12. And now more likely they will start to sleep 10 to 12 hours in a stretch. And they need 12 to 16 hours in total sleep. At the nine month mark, still two naps and naps will still be one to two hours, still three to four hours of daytime sleep, 10 to 12 hours of nighttime sleep. But those single stretches will now start occurring more often with around um, 10 to 12 hours in a single stretch and they need 12 to 16 hours of sleep still. And then the last sort of three months that round out that first year, their naps will generally be two. Nap duration is still one to two with three to four hours of daytime sleep, 10 to 12 hours of nighttime sleep. And now you really should be getting consistency with those longer stretches of 10 to 12 hours at night, totaling sleep of 12 to 16 hours. So what do awake, awake windows look like? So in that um, not to eight weeks really 30 to 45 minutes is m more than a baby can manage is all that a baby can manage as they get to two months they can start to manage 45 to 60 minutes this goes up to 75 to 120 minutes in the three and fourth the third and fourth month at five months they can go from two to two and a half hours six months two to three hours seven months typically will also be two to three hours as they get to eight months, they can start to get to three and a half hours. Um, and at nine months, they should also be able to comfortably do, um, you know, up to three and a half hours. And then as they get to that 10 to 12 months, you might even find that babies can stay awake for up to four hours at a time. But it's those early weeks that are really critical because this is the one where a lot of parents just think their baby, because they may be fighting sleep, is that they're not tired. They are tired. In actual fact, it's probably more that they are overtired, which is why they're fighting sleep. So keep, make sure you're keeping to those awake windows. And when you see those signs of tiredness in your little one, the sooner you can get them down to sleep, the better. So really those are the, um, how much sleep your baby needs and what the awake windows look like for your baby. Remember that this is just general. Not every baby is going to be exactly the same. Some babies are sleeping through the night at three months and some babies are still not sleeping through the night at 12 months old. Just try and keep to your awake windows. Make sure that your baby is getting regular naps and don't let your baby get overtired. And if your baby is still not falling asleep independently, then might, now might be the time to start considering sleep training, especially if your baby is over six months of age and is still not able to sleep, fall asleep and therefore stay asleep independently. This means they're still requiring you to rock them, feed them, pat them, drive them around in the car in order to um, sleep. Uh, a good way to start getting them to fall asleep independently um, is to like, consider sleep training. Um, if you want to know more about sleep training, I've put a link down below with um, to a video that explains the different sleep training methods, as well as um, to a review of a sleep training program that I use myself to successfully sleep train my little one. So you can have a look at you can have a look at that as well. Um, good luck with your baby's sleep. I know sometimes when, especially if you've got a, a young baby, it can seem like, you know, the, the sleep um, deprivation never ends. But at some point, your baby will start sleeping through, through the night. Um, good luck. Till next time.